Okay, this is Mohammed Ibrahim, and today we are going to talk about the American entrepreneurs. Actually, what I like most about the American entrepreneurs is that they don't become intimidated by entering a business market where there is a competitor almost dominate this market because he's so informative, experienced, and they have many technical secrets about the products or services that he is offering. But Americans usually don't surrender that easy. Anyway, let's make this clear, more clear to illustrate. Let's take some example. But first, let me ask you a question. What is the first country comes to your mind once I say pizza? Italy, correct? Of course, Italy. But although Italian people are very famous and popular, popular about making all types of pizza, there is no international pizza restaurants all over the globe, Italian restaurants, whereas Americans do have, like Pizza King and Pizza Hut, of course. Let's take another example. What is the first country or countries comes to your mind when I say IT, technology, or robots. Southeast Asia countries, right? Especially Korea and Japan. But uh, despite this fact, Americans are very popular and well known and experienced in this field as well. So since Korea has Samsung, United States has Apple. And you will find people from Korea and Japan themselves relying on Apple products. Last but not least, what is the first country or countries comes to your mind when I say football? Brazil, right? And West Europe countries like France, England, Spain, Germany, Italy, correct? But now, and it, uh, we always know that United States of America is popular for the basketball and the American football, hockey and so on. And they are not so good in football or soccer as they say. But now America has a very experienced football team. And it's enough to say that United States of America accomplished a very huge success in Olympic Games, every four years, the first country in number of medals, gold, silver, and bronze, is the United States. So they care about sports as well. To sum up, what I want to say is that you should not become intimidated to enter a business market where there is a competitor dominate this market. But make sure that you have a competitive advantage in order to be to be able to compete successfully and set yourself out from the crowd. Okay, so to sum up it and wrap up in one sentence is sm think differently and compete smartly and learn from your teachers until you become better than them. That's it and stay tuned.